With the summer break from school halfway over, parents in one community are calling attention to an overcrowding issue. They feel it demands a different kind of attention than it's been getting. North Shore Bureau Chief Ashley Rodriguez is live at Mandeville High School tonight with that story. Ashley, good evening. Hi there, Tom. Mandeville High surpassed 1,800 students last year. In an anticipation for that number to grow, the school district started adding more modular buildings this week. But parents say that the school has surpassed the usefulness of that temporary solution, and they want to see more options on the table. Dirt is turning at the backside of Mandeville High's property, giving the largest high school in St. Tammany School District an even bigger footprint. But parent Amy Christopher, who has loved her children's experience at the school, including its size, doesn't see this modular building addition as a good kind of growth. Every year there's more and more that have been added. I think that the school board needs to look at putting a brick and mortar structure instead of more portable classrooms. And district leaders hear that call for action. You know, we have our challenges with growth, but growth is a good thing. We want people to be part of our school system. These modules that we're looking at now are a temporary solution, and we're looking at permanent solutions that are include parental involvement, community support, and certainly that's something that's very close in our future. Superintendent Trey Fall says in addition to adding on at Mandeville High, another option could be building a new high school in the Madisonville area, since the growth there is undeniable. But those projects are on the same wish list with hundreds of other needs across the district. Any needs that do get chosen to move forward will have to be paid for by parish taxpayers, not the state. It's all on our citizens, and we have been so blessed in St. Tammany Parish to have the support of the community. They value a good, strong public school system, and that's what we're going to need as we move forward. Parents like Christopher say they are ready to support that kind of growth for their children. In the world is a big place. I want them to be in a big school, meet new people, and have fun. They just hope to get the chance sooner rather than later. Now, over the past 20 years, the school district has asked voters to support capital projects every five years or so. The last time that happened was in 2013. So if history repeats itself, we could be seeing an opportunity to address this issue very soon. Live in Mandeville, Ashley Rodriguez, Eyewitness News.